Okay, so the question that we are going to be doing is unique paths. So the question says that we are given a starting point at the zero zero index. This is the starting point, and what we have to do is we have to reach at this ending point, which is at the last index zero one two and zero one two three. So this is the last point at two comma three. Okay, so we have to start from zero comma zero and reach at the point two comma three, which is basically the n minus one comma m minus one. So we have to reach here, and what we have to do while reaching, we have to find the all the number of possible paths that we can actually take, and you can only move in two direction. either you can move to right or you can move to down so you can only choose these two directions okay so the right and down so that's what you have to do okay and the thing is that you can't like directly take this path uh you can not move upward you can move left you can only move in the right and down direction so let's see how we can actually approach this question so one thing that we know that no matter what you do is let's say you took 1 2 3 4 5 you took five steps to actually reach this direction you took one right a second right third right one down and two down and uh, let's take this route 1 2 3 4 five so you took 1 2 3 4 and five and even like if you took 1 2 3 3 4 5 so you took uh, one down 1 2 3 and down so one thing you can observe here is no matter what path you choose so the first thing was that you can only take right or downward direction and no matter what i do to reach the end point i always have to actually take five steps here which is basically you can say that n minus 1 plus m minus 1 which is so we have two rows and four columns so 2 plus 3 so which is actually total 5 so no matter what you do you are on always going to take n minus 1 Plus m minus one steps to reach the end point. So the thing is that this is very clear about this. Okay, and uh, now what we are going to do is to solve this question. You can have like two approach. One, you can use the dynamic programming solution that uh, you are going to do like. Uh, first you are going to take the recursive approach and then after that you are going to upgrade that to your memoization or the dynamic programming and the approach that we are going to take is a bit more like optimal one so the approach that we are going to take is actually going to be using the combinations the combinations approach and we going to take this one okay and let's see so we have reduced this part very clearly that we are going to take n minus 1 plus m minus 1 steps and the problem is actually now has been broken down to what are the number of ways that we can actually take and by ways i mean that what are the the like the rearrangement 
what are the combinations of the directions of right and down i can take that uh, that we have to calculate the number of ways the number of ways we can actually deduce the n minus uh, n minus 1 plus m minus 1 so basically we just we are just going to rearrange these in some unique ways and for the combinations formula the ncr the ncr so we are going to use this the n factorial and n minus r factorial into r factorial and the thing is that here our n is basically the number of steps the total number of steps which is n minus 1 plus m minus 1 and the thing is that our r here could be the number of rows or the number of columns you can choose whatever you want and this is still going to like give you the same answer and the thing is like like uh, this problem has actually now become a combinations problem and uh, the thing is that you can question that why not permutations like why not permutations is because uh, like let's say like you can put r right down down here and uh, like for this specific right direction the number of like rearrangement of uh, these could also like sometimes be similar like uh, this r is now fixed and uh, i have let's say down right and right and uh, again down so the new arrangement of this I can put this down right here and this down right here so the possibility the actual unique path is actually still the same so that's why we are not using permutations so that is uh, the reason for using the combination and uh, now what we can do is like the question has now become the NCR problem so let's see how we are actually going to use this formula here so now the C is actually now become n minus 1 plus m minus 1 and in our R we can put the n minus 1 right here so you can actually now deduce this and uh, the one little trick that we are going to use is let's say the resultant of this let's put uh, n as 7 and c as 4 and this n 7 minus 1 plus 4 minus 1 c 7 minus 1 okay so the resultant is actually going to be 6 plus 3 which is 9 c 6 and now like if you want to do the factorial that is going to be like uh, that is actually going to be a little bit lengthy so we asked like going to use a little trick that what you need to do is we know that there are 6 that uh, we are using so what you can do is uh, you can put 9 8 7 6 3 4 5 and 6 so instead of uh, having the whole factorial we are only going to go for only 6 elements from 9 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 and now for the rest 
for the downward just simply use 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into into 2 into 1 so as you can see the number of elements up here is actually 6 and the number of elements down here is also 6 so instead of writing the whole factorial we have only used this part so that's a little bit uh, of a trick that you can use and uh, like the resultant of this is actually going to be our main answer okay so let's summarize this we know that uh, we want to reach to the end from the starting point and we can only go in two directions right uh, directions uh, sorry instead of uh, like this right is actually right and down and to reach there we have to make a total of n minus 1 plus m minus 1 moves always and where n signifies the rows and m signifies the column so this problem is now has become a combinations problem and uh, all we need to do is deduce the number of combinations and uh, why are we not using permutations is because uh, we don't want the number of rearrangements and uh, like uh, the rearrangements can actually be similar so uh, we only want unique and now uh, we can get the same answer from either right or down direction combination so uh, like in this case we have actually used the n minus 1 but you can also use m minus 1 if you want and uh, now the question has become how many ways are there to pick n minus 1 or m minus 1 directions from a total of this number of directions or this number of steps that we can use and we can now use a factorial so the, the combinations formula and uh, that's about it for this part and the total time complexity of this is uh, actually going to be your big O n and the space complexity is just going to be big O 1 because we haven't used anything and for this we are actually going to use the for loop so a single for loop is actually going to do our job so like for loop is actually here let's say we have a total here n minus 1 plus m minus 1 let's call this as total and uh, for the our ncr our r is actually let's pick this as n minus 1 so now all you need to do is let's call this as our answer we're going to have initially one and uh, in our answer in our answer we are actually going to have a total of t minus r plus i and we are going to divide this by i which is basically what we are doing is let's uh, take our t as 9 and our r as let's say 6 so what we are doing is 9 minus 6 is actually 3 so first we are taking 3 and for the i for the i this loop is actually going to run from 1 till our r where our r we have taken as 6 so this loop is going to run till 6 so first we are going to have 3 plus 1 then the next time it's going to have 3 plus 2 and 3 plus 3 and this is going to run till 3 plus 6 and uh, our division is actually going to be from 1 to 2 till 6 and uh, this uh, has actually become 9 into 8 into 7 till 4 and uh, our downward part is actually going to remain the same 1 to till 6 and this uh, is actually going to give us a final resultant so that's why we are actually using this and uh, 
this is what the code actually looks like we have we, are, we have done actually the same thing here and that was about it for the unique parts using the go an approach and space complexity as big o one